Sensory play is important and quite beneficial even starting at a young age. In this video, I'll be going over KiwiCo's Let's Sense Panda Crit. And I'll give you all the benefits you get from it. Of course, I'll start with a quick unboxing. And before I get to that though, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by KiwiCo, but all the opinions in this video are my own. All right, first we'll unbox this main crate right here. And then afterwards, we will unbox the plus part. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's in here. Um, Okay, so since it came together in the box, there's actually no sticker, but it says, Let's sense for ages three to four months. Engage your baby senses and help them discover the world. Okay, let's go ahead and see. All right, now you can see here everything that they have. This is once again for three to four months, and it's science-based. Let's see what they have. All right, so here is everything that is going to be included with this. Um, let's put this on the side so I know what to call everything when I see it. All right, here we go again. All right, so first here we have the hanging toy set, uh, which includes three items, it looks like. Um, these are going to be hanging from mobiles, I assume, or something like that. Um, I'll go a little bit more detail this in the review section. Next, we have this crinkle book here, nice and soft. Has a little crinkle in each page. It's actually really soft compared to the previous version um, that I had. Okay, now this is the high contrast wood book. It's nice that it's actually you know circles so that it doesn't you know hurt the kid's hand when it's square. So it's a little harder to hold. Circles are easy. Right. And then this here is the grown-up guide. As you can see, it's the Wonder Play guide. It comes with everything you need to know about this. Talk about more once again in the review section. Wooden rattles. You have two different versions. And you have one that's pretty much your typical one here that you see with the balls inside. Very common in Montessori. And then this one's a little bit more unique in that it's wooden bars. That's kind of cool and different. So if you can see, I'm not sure if you can focus a little bit better, that each of these bars here move around. It's kind of cool. Haven't seen one like this before. And then next we have a spiral toy holder. So I guess this is what's going to be hanging with the, um, the toy sets from the other one. This one. At least that's my best guess right now uh, without doing any reading at, in a grown-up guide. Alright, and it looks like everything is included inside this one. So now let's go ahead, well let me put everything back so it's a little bit more organized for now. And we'll go ahead and see what's inside the plus box. Alright, so this is the plus box. Here you can see it's the Ocean Explorer Activity Wedge. Dive into an underwater world of sensory and motor play. Now that sounds really fun. Let's go ahead and see what it's about. Yep. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. All right, so here we'll have the, I guess the guide. Yep, this kind of tells you what, how, or how to use everything. Oh, sorry about that. Here you go. Let's kind of use everything. So that's how it looks at the well when you take it out. Okay, let me go ahead and take this out. Move the box out the way. Better see this. So it just looks like a lot of fun things for the child to play with. I think this is perfect for this age range of months three to four. Can really imagine my son and daughter would have loved this a lot. Oh, this part looks fun right here. Look at that. Ah opens up even more stuff for them. This is really cool here. And the last item that's part of this is the book Where's Ellie? It's right here. So you can see it's just a nice little book about where they're looking for Ellie. Ellie's an elephant, so she's pretty big. All right, so now I'm gonna do something a little bit different versus the other ones because usually I introduce it to my kids. However, both of my children are now way above the age range of three to four. 
uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and read through that grown-up guide and I'm just going to give you my thoughts about everything after having two children that's grown up to this age. And I'll be back with that. As a father of four and a two-year-old, I've had my fair share of introducing toys that are not only fun, but what many would also say, playtime with a purpose. KiwiCo does a great job of designing a crate where the child can play and not even know they're learning. At three to four months old, the child really doesn't have a concept of play yet, and chances are many babies don't enjoy tummy times because it's more of a workout. But they do need tummy time as it's important for them to develop neck muscles which is important with all sorts of other activities in their life such as sitting and crawling. Tummy time also reduces the likelihood of a flat spot on the back of their head. Luckily many of the items inside Panda Crate help facilitate tummy time to make it more fun for your baby. The spiral toy holder allows you to coil the spiral onto car seats, strollers, or baby gyms. This gives your baby something to touch and experience the softness of it. It can also be used in tummy time if your baby finds it interesting. The spiral holder can also be used in conjunction with the hanging toys. This set is great for enhancing fine motor skills, tracking, touch, and bilateral coordination. Of course, you can also use the hanging toys by themselves. The star over here is the easiest of three to learn to grasp. Once your baby reaches the teething age, the moon over here and the star make a pretty good teething toys. A tip would be to place the star inside the fridge first before giving it to your child so that the coolness of it actually soothes their gums. Rattles are great at not only drawing your baby's attention from the sound they make, but also start to introduce them to cause and effect. Of course, as a parent who follows Montessori, I always prefer wood. And one of my biggest fears is that the wood isn't smooth enough or is too easily chipped. That is not the case with this set of wooden handles. They're very sturdy and the wood doesn't feel like they're cheap at all. The high contrast wood book is another great item for three to four month old babies. At this age, their vision hasn't fully developed yet, so the high contrast helps draw their attention. As I mentioned in the unboxing, I really like that it's circular, as it makes it a bit different from most of the square books. The circle also just seems like it's easier for babies to hold. The other book in this crate is the Crinkle Book. This item is the only item that has remained the same since I received the previous version of this crate about four years ago. I no longer have the original Crinkle Book as I've already given them to a friend, but I'm 100% sure that this book is considerably softer. Somehow it just feels better in the hand, which is very important sensory fuel for the child. And in the Crinkle Noise, this is bound to be a hit. Also, it's a fun story to read to your child and simple enough that one day they'll be able to read on their own. Probably the most important item inside this crate is the Wander Guide. In here, you'll find three sections, the child development in this crate and DIY Play Lab. Child development gives you an insight of how your baby's body and mind are developing. The in this crate section explains how each item can be introduced to your child. Additionally, it gives you more things you can do with each item as your child grows. The DIY Play Lab, as the name implies, is a section with some DIY toys and activities you can do with your child that relates to the theme of the crate. Additionally, at the end of this blue booklet, there's a care guide on how to clean everything. I've always thought that the panda crates were amazing, as with the guide and the toys, it really takes the burden of having to do the research on my own, which means saving me time to do the million other things parents need to get done. The new updated versions hold the same, but what really shocked me are the new plus versions where you get even more fun items for your little one. I've been pleasantly surprised at how nice this Ocean Explorer activity wedge is. The wedge not only offers sensory experience, but also helps with gross motor, fine motor, and teaches the concept of object permanence. The Ocean Explorer here comes with its own guide, so you can take advantage of all the features. From reading the guide, it seems that the wedge is going to be teaching your baby new concepts until 9 months old. This is definitely something I wish my children had a chance to enjoy when they were younger. And as with the other item that's inside the Plus version, there's a good chance that you've already heard about this book, whereas Ellie. It's basically a guessing game in the form of a board book. You might wonder why they might include a board book for a three to four year old, but it's never too early to start reading to your child. Reading to babies as young as three to four months old is essential for bonding and stimulates their language, cognitive, and emotional developments. This early exposure to book enhances their listening skills, vocabulary, and imagination, laying a strong foundation for learning. Overall, I think KiwiCo did a great job with the updates to this crate. All the new items are not only made well, but also very age appropriate. One question I do get a lot from parents is they wonder if these panda crates are enough to keep the child entertained until the next box arrives. For the most part, I always thought that the panda crates alone were enough, especially at this age range. But having option for parents to order the plus versions to offer a couple more items is a nice touch. 
From what I've seen, the additional plus items that are included is worth the extra cost. If you're curious to see what would be included in a future panda crate, check out this video over here. And let me know down below in the comment section which one of these items is your favorite and do you think the plus is actually worth it for your family? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and until next time, keep parenting the awesome way.